This is the third time I've recorded this video. The first two times it was 11 minutes each. I forgot to turn on the audio both times. That's the, the hangover is abating, but it's still with me. Now, okay, look, let me just be clear. This video is about how much I love, love the new God of War. It is one of my favorite games. I have enjoyed it more than almost any game I've played in the last handful of years. It is phenomenal. The last video, absolutely accurate. Not a lie in there. I don't lie. Um, yeah, and the title, the thumbnail was meant to be a little trolly because people need jerk without actually watching shit. And that's just fun for me. It's also tragic that that's our world, but it's fun for me to watch sometimes. What do you want from me? I'm a little, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a trickster character. It doesn't matter. God of War. Pfft, let me do this again. This is the third time. I have to say this, this is performing at this time. I have to summon my energy. Because I was raving about it in the last two videos. You just can't hear me. Boy, I love this game. Let me just... Oh, Corey, Santa Monica, viewers, I promise. If you watched those last two videos, you would see a level of energy and enthusiasm and praise that you'd go, of course, this guy... Now it's just rote. I'm exhausted. I, it's like performing. I mean, here it is. God of War, great stuff. Here we go. Uh, what did I love about this fucking game? Well, listen, I loved what Corey did with the character. I think that was, I don't know what idea came first. I don't know if Sony came to him and said, yeah, you guys can make God of War, but you've got to do something because Ascension wasn't a huge hit. I don't think it was. And it needs a refresher or Corey had the idea first if I want to refresh and rethink this character. I mean, what a brilliant idea to take a character uh, that is so, you know, and I'm not tooting our horn, but in terms of, of the video game zeitgeist, he's very iconic or was very iconic. Um, loved or hated, certainly not misogynistic, by the way, not at all, but whatever, different video, loved or hated, certainly he made some space in the game world, people knew who he was. And to go, I'm going to come in and re-explore that character, I'm going to reinvent to a large extent that character, but I'm still going to make him that character. And I'm going to explore uh, what happens, I am not editing this video one goddamn bit, uh, I'm going to explore what happens when uh, a character grows. And it's almost like a weird Wreck-It Ralph kind of thing or a Toy Story level of of sort of, you know, uh, uh, interesting way to look at a, a, an old story, right? So I loved that. So brilliant. So cool. So good. Uh, the game itself is just incredibly well written. Uh, I, I've told told this story before because I think Corey has told this story before, and I don't I'm, I'm I don't want to romanticize it or over dramatize it. It could become kind of myth or lore for people who love God of War, and I don't know if this. I just remember hearing Corey talk about his time off from when he was working. I want to say at Crystal Dynamics or working with George Miller, and then he was he went hadn't made a game for a while. And he was, he said something in some speech about like, uh, I, I, I'm doing a video, what's up? Um, but I'm not editing it, so what's, what do you need? That was mom calling me, is she calling you? Yeah. What's up? I don't know, oh, uh, here. Okay. Oh, well you're not. Editing. I'll talk to her, I mean, I, I, I'm on video and I'm not gonna edit it. Yeah, it's okay, I'll, I'll call, oh. I'll just tell him I'll call you back later. You make, I'll call you back in 10 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna be out, I'm gonna walk, I'll call you when I get back. Okay, all right, bye. That's the ex-wife. That's my boy Calvin right there. Why are you not editing? I am just not in the headspace to edit. I just don't feel good. Uh, sure. I'm not going to tell him that I did the weed. Come on now. What kind of papa would I be? Um, It's so well written, this game. Oh, A lot of people say they don't... I love... I hate cutscenes in games. Yeah, you know why I hate cutscenes in games? Because they're terrible. Okay. Because they're like, um, uh, <laughs> this is the video game equivalent of David Hasselhoff eating the hamburger. You remember that? I'm not drunk. I'm just hung over a little bit from the fucking marijuana. Fuck off. Don't judge me, motherfucker. Um, the cutscenes, though. Yeah, a lot of these cutscenes, it's like they're beautifully produced in video games, but... They're tropey as fuck. All they do is they riff on movies they've seen. It's like, I saw a scene like this in a uh, uh, an action movie. I saw a scene like this in a drama. And look, my character's doing the same thing. 
It's like, yeah, but you haven't laid down any of the storytelling. You haven't laid down any of the connective narrative tissue to make us respond the way we responded when we saw a similar scene in a movie or a TV show or a book. You're just, you're, it's performative. There's no meat on the bone. But God of War 2018 is so fucking well written that other than the, the third act stuff that we talked about already in the last video, you're immediately like, this is, you don't want to skip a cutscene. I'm like, I don't like cutscenes when they're bad, but as a, as a interactive device to say, I mean, I would always prefer the story to happen interactively, but this is where we're at with the medium. Uh, to say though, that from time to time, you're going to lose control and you're going to watch something. If it's, if it's parsed out and it's not obnoxious and this game doesn't do it obsessively, I can live with it. But when the story is this well told, it's, it's a pleasure. The scene that I remember noticing it for the first time that I'm like, hey, I'm not wanting to skip this shit. If you've watched me stream before, you know, I'm just like, oh, come on, fucking get over this fucking cutscene. Is, is, is Kratos is in uh, Freya's hut with the head, with Mimir's head, and he's dead, and she's got to bring him back to life, and she's scooping the mag maggots out of his throat and shit. And I'm just going, this is really good. Like, I don't want to skip this. I am genuine, and, and I haven't wanted to skip anything prior. This is genuinely engaging and interesting and i haven't seen anything like this before i've never I'm, I'm not like going oh they're just riffing on the the thing in walking dead where that you know it's none of that it's just like one well, is really good writing so the writing is great in this fucking game uh the other thing i really loved about this is a lot of people who know god of war history know that god of war one would not exist without raiders lost ark and clash the titans huge inspirations but another big inspiration uh, is, was Banjo-Kazooie. What, you old knucklehead? If I wasn't tired and hungover, I would show you a picture of what I'm about to talk about, which is the box. It would zoom out, and you'd see it and go, oh, he's referencing that. And it would be a nice little visual presentation that would keep you interested in the video. <sighs> Not today, people. Not today, Satan. Um, uh, but the back of the box, Banjo-Kazooie says to me, it says, oh, I was up in Foster City uh, when this came out, uh, which is where Sony was back in the day. And I look at the back of the box. God, my lips are so chapped. I look at the back of the box, um, and I'm just like going, it promises, you know, you know, join these wacky two characters on this grand adventure or something like that. And, uh, and I remember, you know, getting it home, and I love that game. I just played it recently on uh, my Xbox uh, Series S, you know, backward compatibility, boom. Loved it, you know, but I wasn't on a grand adventure. I was I was doing little platforming puzzles and I was collecting a bunch of notes and shit. I mean, it, it did not feel like an adventure. It felt like an obstacle course. It was great, mm, a bit my lip, great, funny, or my jaw, cheek, inside. Um, total wonderful game classic but it didn't feel like an adventure and i said let's try to make god of war feel like a real adventure like the back of the box promises well i think we did that i think we did that great but this game totally comes along and says yeah you did that great you old timer look how we're gonna do it baby this thing you're riding in a canoe and you're climbing mountains and you're going to all these really cool locations and there's a lot of variety and the story changes it's great I'm going up this snowy mountain, which I love, very f Fellowship of the Ringy. And uh, I'm going up this kind of chiseled into stone staircase. And suddenly the camera, I don't think the camera even pulls back. back. You just notice it. The whole mountain face is a literal face. I don't remember now if that was a frozen giant or they just carved it like a marker. But I was like, this feels like I'm in a, I'm in a great old high adventure movie where suddenly the whole fucking mountain looks like a fucking monster. And... Uh, the rope bridges and it, 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 this was wonderful. What a great sense of adventure this game gives you. Uh, best sense of adventure I've ever had in the game. The art is obviously great. The effects are obviously great. Um, this game could have been made with low poly indie look and it still would have been one of the best games of the year. One of the best games ever possibly. Uh, the fact that it looks like it does that Sony spent what they spent uh, and brought in these talented motherfuckers to make it look like this. What a what a great treat. I don't need graphics. I would rather most games not spend the money they spend on big production value. I mean, I need graphics, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, sort of super next-gen stuff, because the gameplay is the gameplay. Once you're engaged, it doesn't matter. 
But from time to time, just like in the movies, there should be games like this. I don't think these should be the only games. I don't think these should be the most games. But from time to time to go, we're going to fucking blow it out. And we're going to show you what a fucking big game can do. And it happens to be married to a great game, not just a great production value game. This has got a war and it's got it in spades. And it's a beautiful example of big money, big games, big gambles that really are worth it when they spin that kind of ducket. Um, finally, the music, the sound is great. Great soundtrack, great uh, just ambient sound great just little individual sounds the clang when the axe hits the spinning wheels on um, the puzzles the arrow pulling back the footfalls it just sounds wonderful um and then the voice acting is great uh other you know i think i talked in the other video i don't know i've made this video three times now who knows when i said it but uh the guy who plays is it balder i didn't like him all that much he was fine but he felt very much like a johnny depp jack sparrow kind of want to be and that was distracting um but kratos and the kid and Thea and the head i'm um, a and then the, the two brother dwarfs uh the brock guy and the other one i don't think it's brock and dimitri but i want to call him that uh i had a hard time remembering these names i still can't name thor's hammer millie more whatever the fuck it's called the point is great performances great characters um just fantastic man they were awesome i loved kratos in this game i don't like the beard still but i loved even though yeah atreus had this arc that was kind of uh uh suddenly got really you know sped up at the end and it didn't work for me the the arc worked but the 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 the, the distance from a to b suddenly got really truncated i talked about that in the last video Kratos's arc is so cool. It is you. Re I like this character. I mean, I helped create this character, and and, and 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 I'm responding to him as a pure fan at this point because this guy feels so much more nuanced and interesting and realized. That is not to say old Kratos. A lot of people want he was a misogynist. No, he wasn't. Unless I mean, it, it, think about that. Having a threesome makes you a misogynist? What are you talking about, you fucking moron? But no, he was not a misogynist. But he was, and he was interesting. He was more layered than he's given credit for. But this guy? No, this guy's great, man. He's so much deeper, so much more interesting. Um, I loved how he began. And you really saw a nice gradual transition in this game where he went from being just a closed-off dick to really caring about his kid. I mean, that was so cool to see and it was so resonant and so well done. So it is one of my favorite games I've played in a long time. I adore this game. Santa Monica, thank you. Corey, thank you. Shannon, thank you. Yumi, uh, Sh uh, Sean Layden, Scott Rohde, Shuhei Yoshida, uh, all you guys, man. Here's what I gotta tell you something real quick and then I'll, I'll end the video. I think I need water, I need water. Um, it is so cool to me, just at, on a personal note, it is so cool to me. Uh, I mean, the whole team, thank you. I just can't go through all the names, but um, that I could be 90 sitting at a video game convention and one day and, and seeing, you know, signing autographs, walking around, whatever the fuck I'm doing there. And Walking around, I see a bunch of kids and teens and adults wearing Kratos shirts. Various, you know, old school Kratos, this Kratos, maybe the Kratos they make in 15 more years when Corey refreshes it or someone else who's just like a QA guy on the first, on the new God of War, rises up, becomes a director and refreshes it or a girl, woman. Um, the idea that I got to be there and lay these initial stones and then the idea that the stones are getting changed and improved and added to and that it's just like this could really be a legacy character like in the comic books like suddenly it's like oh hawkeye is still around uh the thing ben Grimm is still around i could be 90 and this guy could continue to stay relevant and i've never been someone maybe because of my perspective as the original creator of like a sweet tooth or a, a, a kratos I've never been someone that is, you know, that walks around with a sense of that. Like, I don't go, like, people will come up to me and be like, you created Kratos. And I'm like, well, yeah, a bunch of us did, but I get what they mean. And I'm like, yes, I appreciate that. I, mean, I, I appreciate it, but I can't really understand it from their perspective because it was just a personal thing that I did in my life. 
But to see Kratos now through this set of eyes, which I had nothing to do with, and to love that character like I love this character, I finally kind of get, it's like, oh, hey, I did that with these guys. I mean, I didn't do this, but I, I'm like, that's cool, man. <laughs> it's pretty, I'm pretty impressed with myself um, and the team. But the fact, I think that's cool. Like, if you're at a comic convention and you see somebody wearing a Joker, I remember seeing the guy who created the Joker. He was signing autographs at Comic Con before he died a couple years back. And there were all these people waiting in line with various versions of Joker, all the way from like Snyder's new one um, to, uh, is it Tom King's right in the new one? It's crazy. All the way back, you know, the TV series, all the way back to the original one in 1939, I think it was. Is that the right date? Maybe I'm going back too far. Um, and I'm just like, that's the coolest fucking thing that here this guy is. He had nothing to do other than laying a lot of foundation with these new ones. But he's like, hey, that's, that's my boy out there in the world. It's like a sense of pride, you know? So I, I, I love that. Love the game. Love everything about it other than the previous video, which tells you the stuff I hated about it. Fix that shit for the sequel, fellas and flatties. Uh, I'm out. I'm going to go. Ugh, I'm going to take some water and take a nap and no more weed i'm not an anti-drug guy i'm not a pro-drug guy i don't give a fuck i'm glad it's legal here in california but holy shit baby that's too much that's too much i didn't know it was that much god damn it good night it's not nighttime jaffe good night you stop saying good night see you later bye